The Civil War was a conflict from 1861 to 1865. It was between the Northern States, the Union, and the Southern States that formed the Confederacy. In the South, it was called the War Between the States, and is also called the War of the Rebellion, the official Union designation. The War of Succession and the War for Southern Independence. Here is a quote from Frederick Douglass about African Americans in the Civil War. Once let the black man get upon his person the brass letter U.S. let him get an eagle on his button and the musket on his shoulder and the bullets in his pocket. There is no power on earth that can deny that he has earned the right to citizenship. When free blacks heard about the first shots of Fort Sumter, they immediately tried to enlist in the military, but they were turned away because of a law that banned blacks from joining. In Boston, upset African Americans met and made their wish of having the government change that law. The Lincoln administration had trouble deciding what to do because if they had black troops, there would be a possibility of the border states succeeding. Black soldiers not only served in the artillery and infantry, but also other jobs that helped with the army. Black infantry men fought with much pride at locations such as Los Angeles, Petersburg, Virginia, and Nashville, Tennessee. Some other jobs African Americans had were cooks, guards, steamboat pilots, and chaplains. There were nearly 80 black appointed officers. Black women who could not join the army also served as nurses, spies, and scouts. Harriet Tubman is recognized as an important figure in these jobs. In the July of 1863 attack on Fort Wagner in South Carolina, the 54th Regiment of Massachusetts lost most of their men. There was also a newly named Glory to show the bravery of these men. By the end of the Civil War, about 179,000 black men, 10% of the Union Army, served as soldiers in the U.S. Army. When white soldiers earned $13 a month with an added $3 clothing allowance, African American soldiers earned $10 a month and had $3 subtracted from their earnings for clothing. However, on June 15, 1864, African American soldiers were allowed equal pay. Before, they were only allowed to perform very laborious and burial jobs, but as time went on, more and more were sent out to be on the front line. Prejudice caused the black units to not fight as much as the whites, and they were not given the same privileges as their white fellows. Of those black soldiers, it is estimated that 40,000 died. 30,000 of those 40,000 died of illness. Most were escaped slaves in separate units under white officers. By the end of the war, 16 black soldiers were given the Medal of Honor for their bravery. After the battle, General Blunt praised African Americans and admitted they had fought better than any other soldiers under his command. Ooh! Ah! You can give it! 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 You